Hi, have you ever wondered if HBL does promote self-directed learning in our young children? Let's explore the topic today. So how did HBL come about and why is self-directedness linked to it? Since 1997, Ministry of Education has launched four ICT and Education Master Plans to direct the use of ICT in education. In line with the desired outcomes of education, one of the approaches in supporting the vision of the current EdTech plan is to provide students with the opportunities to apply self-directedness through HBL days. In other words, HBL is deemed as a platform to promote self-directedness in students. Research does show the key benefits of HBL are that it promotes independent self-directed learning because students are able to learn and review materials at their own pace. In addition, virtual learners are able to independently analyze, plan, implement and assess their own learning activities, and thus be self-directed. With less of content teaching from teachers, students can learn to be independent, take control over their learning and develop self-regulation skills. In the HBL setting, students are expected to direct themselves in learning on the online platforms, whereas teachers in the traditional classroom setting lead them. In the traditional classroom setting, teachers play the role of directing, explaining and pace controlling which makes the learning effectiveness less dependent on student self-directed behavior. The HBL setting allows students to construct and confer meaning through reflection on their own. HBL often requires students to take greater responsibility for their education. When students are not in a traditional classroom setting, they must be more self-reliant. Self-directedness plays a crucial role here as it involves the ability to take control of one's learning process, set goals and manage one's time effectively. However, we must not forget that students' readiness plays a crucial role in the success of self-directed learning during HBL days. Readiness refers to the preparedness of students to take responsibility for their own learning, manage their time effectively, and engage with educational materials independently. We have assumed that all students, even the young ones, are well supported at home, in terms of parental involvement and learning environment, and hence ready during HBL days to carry out the various online tasks effectively. The problem here is that not all students are well supported at home and are lacking in terms of readiness for self-directedness to even take place. The level of support and involvement from parents or caregivers can impact a student's ability to engage in self-directed learning. Supported parents or caregivers can provide guidance, encouragement and resources. Supported parents and a conducive learning environment will set the tone for self-directed learning to take place during HBL days. Imagine this scenario, a young child without any parental support in the learning environment is not conducive. Do you think the child can be self-directed in his learning? The physical learning environment at home can also affect a student's ability to concentrate and learn. A quiet, organized space can promote self-directed learning, while distractions or discomfort can hinder it. In sum, HBL promotes self-directedness in young children, only when the level of readiness in them is high. Readiness can either facilitate or hinder a student's ability to engage in effective self-directed learning in the HBL setting. Thank you for watching. 